Hello, my name's Kath and I'm the co-director of Wriggle Dance Theatre. We're making a new show called Squidge and it's all about our sense of touch and how we use touch in our everyday lives. We wanted to show you what we've been doing in the studio with our performers. We've got two dancers and a musician in this next show. One of the things that we explored during rehearsals was how does it feel when you can touch something but you don't know what it feels like. In this next rehearsal clip that I'm going to show you, you can see Selene, one of our dancers, putting her hand into a box and seeing what's in there. She doesn't know what's inside. So see how she reacts. I wonder what it is. Can you guess what might be inside? We asked Selene to show us by dancing how she was feeling when she put her hand inside the box. Did you notice the other dancer? That's Becky. She's standing behind. I wonder how she feels about what's in the box. I think she might be a little bit curious. Did you notice the sounds that our musician Anthony was making? Here's another rehearsal clip. This time it's Becky's turn to have a feel inside the box and she's getting a little bit of help from Selene. Look how Becky responds when she's putting her hand in the box. I'm not sure she likes it as much as Selene does. Selene's doing her best to get Becky to feel inside the box, but do you think she likes it? <coughs> Becky's dance is all about wiping the thing that she touched off her foot. Selene seems determined to get Becky to enjoy what's in the box. Before I go today, I'd like to give you some ideas of some of these things that you can try at home. First of all, you're going to need two people. So one person that's going to be feeling the objects and then the other person who's going to be finding the objects for that person to feel. And don't worry, you can swap over so you both get a chance to have a go. You're going to need a scarf. So your scarf is going to be so that you can blindfold the person that's going to be feeling the object. So tie it around that person nice and securely and check that they can't see. Ooh, don't think I can see anything there. And you're also going to need to find a selection of objects that your partner doesn't know what they are. So I've got a few things just to give you some ideas. I've got a lovely, snuggly, soft slipper. Feels really nice. So that's a nice soft thing to feel. And then have a look for something contrasting. So the second thing I've got is a hairbrush and it's quite scratchy. And then the third thing I've got is a tennis ball. So that has a very different feel to it again because it's got a very hard round shape but a, a little bit of furriness to it as well. Have a look around the house and see if you can find some real contrasting objects for people to feel. 
Use the scarf to blindfold the person that's going to be feeling the objects and then you're going to pass the object to them and get them to have a little feel of it. Ask them to describe how it feels to them and then see if they can guess what it is. Like Selene is doing here, do you think you could get them to make a dance that describes how the object felt? So you could choose whether you want to watch your partner doing this, either with their blindfold on or with their blindfold off. And then why don't you have a go at copying them? See if you can copy some of their movements. Don't forget to swap over. Why don't you see if you can make some strange noises that represent the things that you're feeling? For example, I've got my hairbrush here and I think it would go like this. And then for my lovely, soft, snuggly slipper, I think it would sound like In fact, you could try making the noises and dancing at the same time and seeing what happens then. Let your imagination run wild. Remember, the sky's the limit. You can do anything and nothing is wrong. We'd love to see what you've created, so do post your video clips and your pictures on your social media pages. And don't forget to tag us, Wriggle Dance Theatre. We're looking forward to seeing you and hope you can catch our show Squidge at one of the theatres in spring 2021. In the meantime, have fun. Bye!